Hello and welcome back to Work and Mama. Today we are going to do a comparison of two pumping bags, both made by Jujube. This one is called the Jujube Bee Supply and this is called the Bee Nurtured. Both of these bags have the perfect size pocket to put your pump in and I think that it was made for Spectra pumps, specifically the S1 and S2. So if you have a different pump, it most likely will also fit in this and I will show you in each of these what that pocket looks like. So both of these bags can be worn different ways and I'll show you an on the body view later. Uh, the Bee Supply can either be worn um, maybe over the shoulder using the tote straps and then it also comes with a messenger strap, which is adjustable, so it can hang, you know, either over the shoulder or crossbody if you prefer. And then the Bee Nurtured is meant to be worn either backpack style, or it also comes with a messenger strap, so you can also do over the shoulder or crossbody. This is a big bag. I will say it's probably pretty obvious that this can hold a lot more and I'm going to show you exactly how I have these both packed up. Uh, this also, to mention, has a grab handle so that makes it nice um, to just grab it and move the bag uh, whereas this one you would use the tote straps to do that. So I will mention that I have, I have both of these. Um, I got this one as a gift that was on my uh, baby registry and I was so happy for that. I love Jujube bags because they're machine washable. Uh, this is in the Nantucket print um, and I love it. It's neutral, um, nautical, so very cute. Love it, love using it. I found that because I was carrying this to just have my pumping supplies in it when I was going to work, I also needed to have a full, a separate bag. Um, I was wearing a backpack to carry my laptop um, and other work essentials. And so I purchased this one in an effort to have everything in one. So having the pump and all my work stuff all in one bag so I could only carry one bag. And I do have this packed up to show you how you could do that. Um, in fact, there's a laptop in this bag as well. Uh, I ended up uh, personally getting a bigger laptop for work so I could no longer use this as an all-in-one but I still kept using it and I'll show you why because it has room for an entire insulated lunchbox like a Jujube fuel cell uh, or a Be Cool and so I would often put that in here to use to keep my pumping parts cool and my milk cool as well. Okay so let's go ahead and get started with the Be Supply. So I wanted to also mention that I have a PassiPod clipped here. I um, am not using this for pacifiers when I'm bringing this as a working pump bag, but what I do like to keep in here is headphones um, and charging cables. So when I'm pumping, oftentimes I'll listen to music or watch a video or do a conference call for work. So it's nice to have that quick and easy to grab here. So we'll start with kind of the mommy pocket. So in here, I have um, a little coin purse, which you can just put any kind of essentials that you might need. Uh, I have a small set piece, which is packed with snacks. This is the perfect size for different granola bars. I have fruit snacks and then like three granola bars in here, so it actually fits quite a bit in there. This is attached to a key leash, so you could of course attach your keys if you wanted to. I also have my cell phone in here which is um, uh, an iPhone 11. I also have a pack of tissues, a Sharpie, which is very important if you are writing on bags so that you have the date and um, name and whatnot if you need to put anything like that in there. I have a Tide to Go pen just in case I have spills. I also have these little Tide wipes just in case I have spills as well. So that's what I have in the mommy pocket here. We can go ahead and move on to, see I have just a hand sanitizer on the side. Let's show you this pocket. So it has two side pockets here. This one is kind of a normal pocket, which has mesh. So you can have two different things on the sides here. And then this pocket is where your pump goes. So right here, I have a Y pouch mini which is holding some Medela um, 
basically pumping parts cleaning wipes, which are great to have just in case you need to wash your items. I have some deodorant, I have some regular wipes, and some napkins just in case of spills. You definitely want to be prepared for that. And then the other side here, I have the pump, which is my Spectra S1, so it's the blue one. I actually keep the uh, tubing all connected here, so I don't really take it out. And then when I'm charging it at night, I simply put the charger right in here, just leave this open. I never take this pump out. It's really nice that it can open and just be used. I usually put this on the tabletop next to me. You can see it in my other video that I have uh, the full setup of what I do for pumping at work. So I want to show you now the inside of the bag and also mention to you that there is a slip pocket in the back here so that could be another place to put a phone or a book or some extra something to do while you're pumping. So showing you in here, I have a medium beset piece and this is in the Hello Kitty Out to See print. I tried to be a little matchy matchy for this video. And in here, I have a mini wet bag, so that's to store my parts in between use if I'm going to refrigerate them. And I also have just a burp cloth and uh, my pumping bra in here as well. So that fits in a medium set piece pretty well. It's a little snug, I would say. Um, so maybe a large set piece would work for you too. Here I have a medium be organized piece with pumping parts in it. And so I've got the full um, set with two flanges and the backflow protectors and two bottles in here as well. One's an Abbott bottle and one's a Spectra bottle that comes with the Spectra kit. And so you can see here a lot of the space internally of course is taken up by that pump. And so what I have going on in here is that I have another medium be organized piece which has some Kindy or Kind bags, so direct pump bags. I love these, I highly recommend them. All of the items that I'm showing you today, I will link in the description in case you'd like to see more information. The other thing I have in here is crunched up a little mini fuel cell, which comes with the Be Equipped. So this is a nice size to have in this bag. So how um, this is how I would start the day using this bag. And then at the end of the day, I would have bags of milk in here with a slim ice pack. And because I would then kind of be reorganizing, so these parts would be used, um, I would have bottles in here too. I can probably fit um, three bottles or several bags in here, depending on what I'm using to pump into. And then I would normally have moved my pumping parts out of here into this wet bag. And so when I'm using this setup, I would, at the end of the day, have a few things kind of reorganized, but it still all fits in here, even with all of the milk and bottles being used. Okay, so just to note that. So now we're going to move on to the bee nurtured bag. And as I mentioned, this is a lot bigger. Uh, I would say that, I mean, you can just see them side by side here. It pretty much is just the same base-wise, but just gives you a few more inches of height, which allows you to fit a lot more in this bag. And as I mentioned, I have it packed up uh, as if it was kind of a two-in-one pumping bag and work supply bag. So let's go ahead and show you what's in here. This pocket I actually have empty. It's nice magnetic closure though, so it's nice for quick grab things. You could put like your cell phone in there. Um, mine fits pretty perfectly snug. There actually is a tech pocket that is made to put your phone in, in the back, which I'll show you when we get there. This is the mommy pocket here, so it has the famous jujube <laughs> key leash on there. Uh, I also have here a little coin purse attached. I just love these prints together. This is Hello Perky. And the print of this bag is called Black and Bloom, which is gorgeous. I love it so much. Uh, in here, I have just a chapstick and a little mini deodorant, just in case. Um, in here, you also have a sunglasses pouch, which I have some sunglasses in there. And there's another zippered compartment here. 
and there is a mesh pocket down in there as well. So when you have this bag packed, this pocket gets a little snug. So be wary of that. I don't put a ton in here. Um, it could be another good place to put like pens or smaller accessories that you might need for work. And this also has magnets here, which I love. It's a nice magnetic closure. So it's really uh, soft, but it keeps together well. And you can kind of see that because this is so fully packed, the bag is kind of bowing a little bit. Now it's not overpacked, so it's not too stuffed, but just to warn you that if you have a lot in the main compartment it is going to take away some of that mommy pocket space. Okay, so um, as mentioned earlier with the Be Supply bag, I love having a passy pod here um, with, I have my AirPods in here and then just a phone charger just in case. So that's a nice use. There are so many uses for passy pods besides pass pacifiers and I love having them paired with my bags. As you can see, I like to be a little mixy matchy, but I really love these two um, prints together. This is Dream World, which is a Toki Doki Hello Kitty collaboration print, which I love. So this pocket is where the pump goes. And this pocket, which looks identical, but is not nearly as deep, is just a regular side pocket. This one only has one side of mesh, whereas the Be Supplied has mesh on both sides. So in here, I have a white pouch mini. This is in the Donatella print, so cute. Uh, and again, being a little bit matchy-matchy with the pinks, <laughs> but um, this right now has just some regular baby wipes in there. You could do your Medela um, pumping what supply wipes. I also have some tissues in here, and I have a granola bar for snacks. Um, there was so much space in here that you could use to put snacks or pack another small set piece like I did with the supply bag. So inside, I love the lining of this bag. It's that gingham print, which is so cute. So you can see what I have here right on the top is a fuel cell and a large set piece. So if I go ahead and take these out so you can see, these both fit in here, no problem. I also brought with me an example in case you have the newer Jujube lunchbox style. This is called the Be Cool. So this one I would say packs a little slimmer than a fuel, a fuel cell does. It's also a little taller as you can see, but it is also more rigid. So there is nothing in this right now. It's completely empty. And by the way, this print is called Hello Kitty Bakery. It's so cute. This was the first print that they created the Be Cool for. Um, but you can see here, this has really nice insulation. Uh, and it works really well. I loved having this to store my milk in with a slim ice pack, and it would really keep it cool, certainly for my entire commute home from work, but even for longer amounts of time, too. So oftentimes, I would be going from different meetings to different meetings and I might not have access to a fridge so I would oftentimes put two or three slim ice packs in here with my milk and it would still be super cold by the time a few hours later by the time I'm getting home getting around to putting it all in the fridge so I wanted to show that that also fits very well in here and how I have these um, both the fuel cell and the um, be cool is sitting on top of where that pump goes. So you can see here that the gingham lining here is over the pump. So you can see that there's still so much room in here and this is a nice tall bag. So you can put that Be Cool or that fuel cell right here and it zips up no problem. I would say that the fuel cell probably fits just a little bit better in terms of being on top of the pump, but you could certainly reorganize a little bit and have this on the other side if you felt like that was a better fit for you. So inside here, I have um, a little back zipper pouch, and I forgot to mention this, but there is one of these pockets in the uh, Be Supplied as well. And what I like to keep in here is kind of just-in-case items for pumping. So I have just-in-case bag in case I forgot to replenish my stash of, of candy bags in here. I also have an extra tubing just in case something uh, happens with my tubing. So I really don't access that very much. Um, I also have in here, as I mentioned, this is this is packed up for work. So I have a little notebook in here. So this is just a super slim notebook, easily fits. 
Um, before I get too far into what's in there, I also have in this large set piece, um, I have a burp cloth, which I like to put out um, around me, just in case of spillage and whatnot, as well as my um, pumping bra. And I would also put in there my mini wet bag. Fits in there, no problem. So I have all of that. Next thing I want to talk to you about is a medium deorganized piece. This is in the Iconic 2.0 print. Very, very much the same, packed up with multiple flanges. I have two flanges in here, the backflow pieces, two bottles, so that's all in there and is packed up perfectly. It fit super well, a little bit snugly, but perfect fit. And then right at the bottom, I have another medium beat organized set. This is in Donatella Sweet Shop print, and this has candy bags. So it would vary for me. I would usually pack like a half box of candy bags in, and kind of stuff this so that I have a nice runway of bags where I'm not necessarily replenishing them every single day. So I keep those right at the bottom there. And then the last thing, so you can see all that space taken up by the pump here. The last thing I have is there's a little mesh pocket inside and I have um, my medium set piece tucked in there so it doesn't go anywhere. And this has something for work, which is my laptop charger. So I've got a charging port in here. You could probably fit some other things in here too, maybe pens for work or whatever. Um, oh, you know, I just remember what I normally put in here is the Sharpie so that I can write on my kidney bags. I normally have that in there as well. So I've got a charging cable there, and that leaves just the back of the bag, which currently has a laptop. So this is my Microsoft Surface Book, which I love as a computer. This is actually not my work computer, this is my personal computer, and it fits perfectly like a glove. Initially my work computer was the Lenovo Carbon, so it's also a super slim book. I'm sure that several MacBooks would fit in here too since they're usually on the slimmer side, but right now I have an HP, um, I think it's like a 15 inch, and it is, it's also slim, but it is too big for this pocket. So this fits perfectly as you can see. So let me just show you how easy it is. It's not, not a tight fit at all. It's perfect in that pocket there. And then the last thing that I'm going to show you is this tech pocket here, which has a felt lining, and so that is really meant for your phone. Fits in there perfectly in iPhone 11 with some room to spare. Okay, so that is how those bags pack up. Now, if you want to stay for just another minute, I'll show you how these bags look on the body as well. So there you have it, the comparison between the Jujube Be Supplied and the Jujube Be Nurture, both perfect pumping bags. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Also, feel free to share with anyone else who might find it helpful. I really loved using both of these bags, and I recommend either of them. Jujube makes fantastic quality bags, and I love them so much, so I do recommend that you consider investing in one of these bags. Thank you.